Hello, hello, it's Kitty with DeclutterTheBrain.com. I am proud to be your thought organizer coming to you on a yet another spectacular day in uh, picturesque Atlantic Canada, and I hope it's a lovely day where you are. And don't forget, like I say, almost every day now, even if it isn't, tomorrow is a brand new, fresh, shiny day. And not only that, but even above the clouds today, there is blue sky. Never forget that. And I have that on good authority. If you go in a plane, you're above the clouds. This happened to me, all of a sudden, I, whoa, blue sky, no clouds. There's a metaphor for life there somewhere. Yeah. All right, so who am I? Once again, I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com, your thought organizer. And what do I do? I help coaches, consultants, and entrepreneurs to organize their space and streamline their thoughts so that they can focus on attracting and serving premium clients. I do have over 20 years experience in helping people to gain control of their surroundings and through that I've developed my step-by-step -step one system which has uh, helped me and my clients go from broke and overwhelmed to well off, organized and, and well, focused. Yeah. Uh, now, question, how would it help you to take immediate action on your clutter? Would, would, you, would you feel more relaxed? Do you think your productivity would improve? Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, you hold that thought, especially if you are an action taker. If you are an action taker, you just hold on to that thought and we will give you your next steps to take in about 10 minutes uh, to get you on that road to organize space and streamline thoughts. Okay, this week is, uh, today is the final installment after three weeks of beat the backslide. What do I mean by backslide? I mean that, uh, you know, you're chug, chug, chugging along on your, on the journey of life towards your goal, whether a goal be weight loss or a promotion or your next client or whatever it is. Sorry, I do live on a it's, it, on a slightly busy street, and I can hear. I don't know if you could hear the motorcycles going by and all of this kind of stuff. Hello, hello, Michael, and thanks to you who uh, who has joined that I don't that I don't know who you are. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, uh, and then you're chugging along to your goal, and then life happens. Mm -hmm. Could be good or bad, could be a, uh, a job loss or a new job, could be a death in the family, could be a birth in the family, could be a divorce, could be a marriage. Any of these things are guaranteed to just kind of put a, put a whammy in the works on your, on your, on, on, on your road to success and it's, uh, it can, it can set you back a little bit. Um, or make you backslide a little bit to old habits, old routines that we're not serving you, you see. So this, this week, or this last three weeks, we have been talking about that. From week one, my biggest takeaway for you from that week is do not beat yourself up about that. I'll say that again, do not beat yourself up about this. Life happens, but you can pick yourself up Frank Sinatra song and get back in the race that's live. Okay. <laughs> All right. Week week number two. Last week was do a speed declutter around your place, and you can do this 15 minutes per room. I got asked about this in our Declutter the Brain Facebook group, and I'm going to uh, address this more. But basically, if you just do a speed declutter on on, on uh, main areas in your place, just run around and pick up the old McDonald's bag, the the not old McDonald's, but McDonald's bags that are that are no longer serving you because there's no food in them. Um, run around, do a speed declutter. Excuse the cough drop; it's post COVID. Um, 
and yeah, just run around, go ahead, do a speed declutter around your house. You will feel instantly better, and this will fuel your momentum and your self-esteem and your confidence that you can keep moving forward. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's life. No, um, um, uh, Michael, um, my way, my way. This one is, that's life. That's life. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, we're singing away here. Uh, it's your it's your singing thought organizer today. Michael and I are <laughs> having fun with it, and I'm so glad to see you, Sarah. Um, hope you're coming to our workshop in about 45 minutes. More on that. Um, and 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 then okay. So speed declutter this week. It is about restoring your routines, restoring your structure to your life. Monday, uh, structure is, before you start telling me, oh man, uh, structure doesn't work for me, you know, it doesn't work for my ADHD brain. Um, I'm a free spirit, nope, nope, I can get up whatever time I want, go to bed whatever time I want. I watched a very close family member do that for the last 10 years of his life. Please don't do that, okay? Um, it, routines and structure are the glue that keep a successful life together, all right? And they help you keep your health, your wealth, and your relationships to boot, and everybody knows where, where, where you're at, all right? So decide, won't you, to either start or resume a daily routine. But please, in the name of all this holy, don't try to change all of your habits at once or even resume all of your habits at once. Start with one, and we're gonna go through those habits lickety-split in the next few minutes. But pick one habit, get that back under your belt, for, do it for a week or two, three if you need to, and then move on to the next one. Sarah, am I right on this? Don't try to do all of them at the same time. You know it. You know it, girl. <laughs> you got a lot going on. All right, first thing is the cardinal rule. Please keep your circadian, ryth circadian rhythms under control and go to bed and uh, awake at the same time roughly every day. All right? Uh, especially if you're ADHD, our body clocks are out of sync anyway, a study in Wales tells us so. Uh, and if, if, I, if I veer from this, I veer from this once a week. On Friday night, I will go to bed about an hour later and get up an hour, well, okay, two, two hours later. But, and I, I feel it on Saturday, but I also, I have a totally, I'm doing housework and, and chores and stuff like that. It's not my regular work day. If I tried to pull that BS between Monday and Friday, OMG, you, you would never see content again. Okay, declutter the brain would be finished. All right, uh, get up and retire at the same time every day. Next, Wednesday, we talked about eat up. Eat, eat um, uh, some sort of high protein breakfast. Uh, um, it's, it pr promotes the production of dopamine. And if you're ADHD and you don't have anything you want this, if you're not ADHD, it, it's good for you. Just trust me, it's good for you. Eat, uh, pa praise the Lord and ditch the corn pops, okay? Yeah, corn pops are tasty, I know, Michael. Uh, <laughs> they're not good for you, even if even you don't eat that for breakfast. Um, and it can be something as simple as peanut butter and banana on toast. I would go without the banana myself. Uh, or a hard-boiled egg, dinner leftovers even, what have you, okay? Uh, all right, uh, yesterday we talked about, ah, no more decisions. Michael loves this one. I know, I know he does. He's going, yeah, he's doing his happy dance because he and I share um, a, a habit. Of we have certain clothes for certain occasions and or certain colors for certain jobs all right makes life so much easier in the morning okay don't use up your valuable mental energy in the morning making decisions about your clothes have them ready if, if you don't have a routine as to colors then at least have them ready on Sunday night so you don't have to think on Monday morning also um, pre plan your meals Please makes a huge difference, especially your breakfast. Uh, 
that mid that morning thing Ugh. okay keep it simple <laughs> all right today we're gonna get right back into the habits slow and steady wins the race there's an experience that says change slowly or fail miserably i'll say that again change slowly or fail miserably now let's say i i read that oh, God, that sounds horrible but it's true just don't put too much emphasis on the fail otherwise you'll take that as a sub, subconscious subliminal command and all right so don't do that hi pam oh yeah <laughs> Our half marathon are you yes okay so but still I, I, I I'm funning with you here as they say but change slowly take and take that and take one of those habits whether it's getting up and, uh, and retiring at the same time or the eating of breakfast or the um, the clothing or what have you there are a myriad of others taking your vitamins you name it but take that one habit and again get it under your belt now here's the secret sauce about this you want to hear it? yes okay <laughs> talk me into it while you are changing slowly whether or not it's a new habit or especially if you are reinstating it after your backslide what can happen is you find ways to improve on how it was before yes you improve on that habit that you had before because you have newfound momentum and you have fresh eyes so look at it this way maybe the backslide was not such a bad thing after all huh starting fresh can be a good thing do put in whether you're watching live or on Memorex on any of the other platforms, um, put in the comments if you agree that sometimes a backslide should can can be a good thing because you get to you get to start fresh. You don't have to start fresh. You get to start fresh, and move chug 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 and along. Okay, so. If you enjoyed this video, just hit that share button. You don't know who's who's out there who needs a bit of a boost. Uh, if you want to see other videos that I've done on a myriad of topics um, since since September, we're day 558 or something like that. But I've been recording them on YouTube since September. Uh, they're all there. Go to YouTube, declutter the brain. Okay, and yeah, like it, like and share and subscribe if if you if you don't mind. If you're interested in our newsletter, it's coming out next week. Um, just um, direct message me your email address. Now, quick question: How much would you accomplish? How much more would you accomplish if you are not distracted by your clutter? Do you just want your clutter gone and your mental clarity back? Finally, are you an action taker who is coachable and committed to clearing your space and organizing your thoughts? Okay, I got three steps for you. Are you ready? One, two, three. First, get off that hamster wheel. I see you. <laughs> and join Declutter the Brain Facebook group, where in about 45 minutes, we will be having our our uh, Friday workshop, uh, host, host, uh, co-hosted with Pam here, Continuous Improvement. There you go, Michael. And uh, we, we have daily activity. Just come and join us and check, and check us out. Step number two, you ask, is uh, scroll down below. The link is below also for Declutter the Brain. Uh, download your seven easy steps to conquer your clutter and, yeah, to conquer your clutter. <laughs> And while you're there, just go ahead and book a call with me. I've got a call with a lady in about uh, right after the workshop, actually. Um, and I will listen to hear what your clutter is actually costing you in your health, in your wealth, in your relationships. And I'll give you a, a jumpstart plan for right now results. And then we can talk about if we're fit to work together. Either way, I promise you, you will not walk away empty-handed. All right? So... Now that you have committed to clearing, um, you have decided to eliminate your chaos and organize your mindset, you just click those links and change your life today. Don't wait. All right. Uh, next week, we are talking about uh, toxic relationships. 
Get rid of them, honey. All right, take care. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye for now.